Have you tried rolling a ball along the ground? You must have seen that it soon comes to rest. This happens because it is acted upon by a frictional force which opposes motion. However, friction between two solids can be of two types, sliding friction and rolling friction. Let us try to find out which one is greater. For this, we need round pencils and a stack of heavy books. Place some books on a table. Now push these books from one end to another. Observe. We require some effort to move the books across. This is due to friction which opposes the movement of books across the surface. Now take some round pencils and place them parallel to each other in this manner. Take the heavy books, place them over the pencils and push them again. The books get pushed very easily. We observe that less effort is required when pencils are kept below the books. This is because the pencils roll across the table while the book without the pencil slides across the table, thus showing that the friction due to the rolling of the pencils, rolling friction, is much less than sliding friction. We take advantage of the lower rolling friction by placing wheels in machines like cars and wheelbarrows that are used to transport heavy things from place to place. How many machines can you think of that use wheels to roll across surfaces, thus making use of the fact that rolling friction is less than sliding friction?